From being flown around the world on private planes, dressed in a wardrobe fresh off the runway, to attending exclusive events with the rich and powerful, Kendall says her life growing up appeared to be lavish and decadent. She says she traveled the globe to the biggest sporting events in the entire world, from the Super Bowl and Olympics to the World Cup, rubbing elbows with doctors, successful politicians, and even high-profile members of law enforcement. Sounds like a life most people would dream of, right? So why then would she leave it and send me a video too petrified to show her face or even utter a single word, holding up handwritten signs that read, I feel like I need to be punished. I need to go back so he can punish me. I wanna kill myself before that happens. Please help me. Dr. Phil, please. She wouldn't even show her face. The story you're about to hear is so shocking, so unbelievable, that your mind is going to struggle to allow you to accept that things like this exist. But they do, and they are happening right now all over the world, even in small towns right here in the United States. Kendall's story begins when she was a newborn and her parents sold her to a powerful man who owns a dangerous international sex trafficking organization, a man she says still owns her and wants her back. Kendall says every glamorous event and plane ride was with a wealthy client who paid for her so they could abuse her in ways well, they're just simply too horrendous to comprehend. Now, for nearly four months, we researched Kendall's story, trying to verify its authenticity. And after speaking confidentially to agencies, we were able to confirm that Kendall has, in fact, been trafficked. Here is what she told us. I was born into this world of sex trafficking. It's the only life I've ever known. Since I left, everything has been so hard, and nobody except the man who owns me can help me. I was given to the man who owns me by my birth parents, and I was forced to have sex with clients. One of my first memories was thinking that it was normal for men to be fondling babies. My whole life, I traveled all over the world and would go to some of the biggest events to meet clients and have sex with them. They were all extremely rich and prominent members of society. Sometimes they would just want to have sex with me and sometimes they'd make me have sex with different people. The clients were often physically abusive. Clients were even allowed to smother me with a pillow or plastic bag while having sex with me but they were never allowed to leave marks or bruises on my face because I always had to look pretty. The man who owns me constantly manipulated me and did horrible things to me. He would make me be a dog, made me eat feces. I was kept in a cage. Sometimes he would electrocute me as punishment. He said that all of this was happening because it was God's will, because God made me for this. If I told anybody about what was going on, that nobody would believe me. I 100% believed him. I still believe him. 